Welcome to NIOS. Learners, today we will learn and discuss about various kinds of Indian regional forms of paintings and their features. As you all know, the artistic expression of the Indian people is not limited to paintings on canvas or paper only. The decorative paintings on walls of homes even in rural areas is a common sight. Rangoli on floor are made for the auspicious occasions and pujas. that has been passed from one generation to the other since long. The designs on floor are called Rangoli in the North India, in Bengal it is called as Alpana and in Tamil Nadu it is called as Kolam. In Madhya Pradesh it is called as Mandana. Usually rice powder is used for these paintings, but colored powder or flower petals are also used to make them more colorful. There are some examples of folk art. Now we will discuss them one by one. The first we will learn about Mithila painting. Mithila painting also known as Madhubani folk art. This is the traditional art of the Mithila region of Bihar. They are produced by women who make three dimensional images using vegetable colors with few earthen colors and finished in black lines on cow dung treated paper. This picture tells stories especially about Sita's exile, Ram Lakshman's forest life. It also shows the images of Lakshmi, Ganesha, Hanuman and other forms of Hindu mythology. Apart from all these paintings, women also paint celestial subjects like sun, moon, stars, The holy plant Tulsi is also found in these paintings. Also different occasions like wedding, social happenings, 
court scenes are also seen in mithila paintings the painter thinks and then she draws her thoughts no pretense is there to describe the figure accurately visually they are the images that speaks in line and colors and are drawn for some rituals or festivals on household and village walls to mark the seasonal festivals or special events of the life cycle intricate flora animals and birds motifs can also be found along with geometrical designs to fill up the gap the techniques of painting is safely and zealously guarded by the women of the village to be passed on by the mother to the daughter nowadays madhubani art is being used as decorative gift items greeting cards and has become a source of income for local women folk dear learners now we will learn about kalamkari paintings the kalamkari painting is done by kalam kalam as we all know means a pen this art got enriched as it came down from one generation to another these paintings are made in andhra pradesh it is hand painted as well as blocks paintings with vegetable dyes applied on cloth for kalamkari work vegetable dyes are used for the coloring purpose a small place sri kala hasti is the best known center of kalamkari art this work of kalamkari is also found at a place masauli patanam in andhra pradesh this art is mainly related to decorating temple interiors with painted cloth panels which was developed in the 15th century under the patronage of vijayanagar rulers subjects are adopted from the ramayana the mahabharata and other hindu 
religious mythology. This art form is also a continuous legacy from father to son. After deciding the subject of the painting, scene after scene after scene are painted. Every scene is surrounded by floral decorative patterns. These paintings are made on cloth and they are very durable and flexible in size and these are made according to the theme. Another important thing to keep in mind regarding this painting is that owing to Muslim rulers in the place Golconda, G O L C O N D A, the Masauli Patnam Kalamkari, M A S U L I P A T N A M. This was widely influenced by Persian motifs and design. P E R S I A N. The outlines and main features are done using hand carved blocks. And then later, the finer detailings are done using the pen. This art was started on garments, bed covers and curtains first. The artists use a bamboo or date palm stick pointed at one end with a bundle of fine hair attached to the other end. This is used as brush. This is also used as pen. The Kalamkari dyes are obtained by extracting colors from plant root, leaves, with the use of salt of iron salt of tin, salt of copper and salt of alum. Now we will discuss about Orissa Patachitra. Similar to Kali Ghat, Pats. One comes across another kind of Pats which are found in the state of Orissa. The Orissa Patachitras. mostly painted on cloth are more detailed and more colorful and most of these show the stories of Hindu gods and goddesses. Now we will know about 
FUD paintings. This is a kind of painting belongs to Rajasthan and mainly Bhilwara district. Third is a type of scroll, scroll painting. The paintings depicting exploits of local deities. which are often carried from place to place and are accompanied by traditional singers. who narrate the theme depicted on these scrolls. Third paintings depict the heroic deeds of a heroic figure. The daily life of a peasant, a farmer, rural life, animals and birds, flora and fauna. These paintings are created using bright colors and subtle colors. The outlines of the paintings are first drawn in black and later on filled with colors. This art of painting is approximately 700 years old. Now we will learn about Gond art. A very highly sophisticated and abstract form of art produced by the Santhals in India. The Gond tribe of the Godavari belt who are as old as the Santhals produce figurative works. Now next we will learn about Varli paintings W A R L I. Varli paintings derive its name from a small tribe. from Maharashtra. These are decorative paintings on the floor and walls of Gond or coal tribes. On homes and at places of worship, different items like trees, birds, men and women collaborate to create a composite whole in the Varli painting. These paintings are made mostly by the women as part of their routine at auspicious celebrations. Local materials like white color and rice paste and local vegetable glue on a plain contrasting background 
made in geometrical patterns like square, triangles and circles are used. Dots and crooked lines are the units of these compositions. Unlike other tribal art, Worli paintings do not employ religious iconography and is a more secular art form. Next, we will learn about Kali Ghat painting. Dear learners, Kali Ghat painting derives its name from the place of origin. Place name is Kali Ghat. in Kolkata. Kali Ghat is a bazaar near the Kali temple in Kolkata. Patua painters from rural Bengal came and settled in Kali Ghata. To make images of God and Goddesses in the early 19th century. These paintings on paper made with watercolors comprise clear sweeping lines, drawing using bright colors and clear background. Subjects are images of Kali, Lakshmi, Krishna, Ganesha, Shiva and other gods and goddesses. Kali Ghat paintings became the best mirror of this culture. Next, we will learn about Indian handicrafts. Dear learners, handicrafts are simple objects of daily life crafted with delicate designs by Indian artisans. Every state of India can boast of some unique creation which is special for that particular region. For example, Kashmir is famous for embroidery, and embroidered shawls, carpets, Namdar silk, and walnut wood furniture. Rajasthan is famous for its tie and dye fabric, jewelry using precious stones and gems. 
blue gazed pottery and meenakari work andhra pradesh is famous for bidri work and pocham pal sari while tamil nadu is well known for bronze sculpture and kanjivaram silk sarees mysore is well known for silk sandalwood items kerala is famous for ivory carvings and rosewood furniture chanderi and kosa silk of madhya pradesh chicken work of lucknow brocade and silk saree of banaras cane furniture and goods of assam bankura terracotta modeling and handloom items of bengal are just a few examples of unique traditional decorative arts and crafts which constitute the heritage of modern india these arts have been nurtured for thousands of years and provided employment to a great number of artisan who carried forward the art of the india to the next generation dear learners in this video we learnt about the paintings and its different forms all over india if you have any query you can send us email at email address sign language at the rate nios.ac.in for more information you can visit our website at www.nios.ac.in thank you